board's buzzing already with the anti conjurer, <laughs> Dan yep. Sperry. Yep. Right off the bat, and we're not going to, with you, I know everything is spontaneous, but I have mm. to know how you came up with that and what does it mean? What the name or the word anti conjurer? Anti conjurer. Yeah, so um, basically, uh, the way back story is, is, uh, there's there's magician conventions. That's a thing. Like that exists. And uh, and when I was a, a, a teenager, like probably about 15 or 16, a buddy of mine we were, were at this convention, and in the same building, uh, in the same facility, uh, there was also a volleyball convention going on. Well, you know, volleyball girls volleyball convention. And so uh, we were both like, wow, all right. So there's all these girls getting hit up by these like you know creepy, weird, nerdy magician guys. And we're like, we can't we can't let them know we're part of the magic convention. So if they ask. I was like, we should say we're in a band, and it should be called Anti Conjurer, and it just kind of came out. And I thought, well, that sounded cool. Right. And then so um, I didn't. I, I remembered it, but I never used it until a few years later when uh, I had graduated, moved to Chicago, and uh, I was um, doing stuff around, uh, like stuff for, for bands and, and DJs at you know goth scenes or goth mm-hmm. nights and that kind of thing. And I didn't want to have the title of uh, of magician you know, uh, attached to it. Cause I didn't want it to like put off anybody before mm-hmm. I had a chance to, to show what I was doing and brand yourself. And so to brand it. Yeah, yeah. Because if it just said magician or illusionist, I'm afraid people would have thought so like maybe just made like a, you know, like a pre notion or something. So I, um, I just used anti conjurer, uh, as a way to camouflage what I was doing and it worked and it kind of stuck. And then, yeah. Yeah, but you, you, you do have this whole goth thing going on. You have a fan club. They're called the Abrica Bastards. The Abrica Bastards, yeah. yeah. Which is kind of funny, and they're yeah. very passionate. No, no, it's, it's, I think it's, some it's of them have been be... trying to chat with you. You might want to say hi to your yeah. friends in Germany. Hi, guys. Yeah, sorry about the live stream today. I had to do this, but we'll yeah. we'll get together later. Yes. Just stay on, keep an eye on the Twitter and the Facebook. We'll figure it out. It all works, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you've done uh, quite a bit. So what? What? how did you come about the goth thing? I was joking. I kind of said to your publicist, I don't know who or what possessed him, but no. Uh, yeah, Obviously, you always like magic, right? Yeah, I mean, like but I was. Um, you spun it somehow. Yeah, well, when I was uh, growing up, you know, younger, discovering music and movies, and you know, outside of just Disney, you know, uh, and stuff, I uh, I got into. Um, uh, like horror movies, you know. I so my, my friends and I would make little homemade horror movies with our homemade video cameras oh, and stuff. And then uh, just we started listening to like a lot of like punk rock and uh, and and even you know sort of like industrial, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, all through high school and I played I played bass so like I played in like these garage bands that would do all the covers so and stuff so you're a musician too well, sort of yeah so I don't like telling people okay, I'm a musician because it's you know you just like it it's just I don't want to you know offend anybody so uh, <laughs> so yeah so it just was that was the scene that I uh, sort of was most comfortable in right. you know and uh, and that's that's just it. That's but what it was But your magic's got some dark edginess to it. Well, and, yeah, I took you know. uh, I took interest in those other sorts of outlets and applied them to the magic tricks to create a sort of, you know, semi-different presentation. I guess you could say. I guess you could say you had a. Uh Sharon Osbourne and Stitches. I mean, she yeah. was hysterical, and and Howie. That was a pretty incredible trick. I gotta say that you Thanks. pulled on America's Got Talent. Yeah. Uh, so That's was fun. that? Do you do all your own tricks? Do you create them? Are they? Is that? No, or not necessarily. Uh, they, like some. I mean, some are based in a lot of old, uh, pre-existing, you know, thoughts and ideas, and then try to make them apply to my style. Um, I don't necessarily. Uh, I like your style. Say I way. thank you. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily. I, come up with things but i adapt things you know what i'm saying yeah that lozenge thing was just a lifesaver and yeah (laughs) thanks that was uh i bet you get a lot of uh response from that yeah yeah i still do it it closes my show now Uh because i've been doing it for so long and people usually that's the first thing that people have ever seen me do so Mm -hmm. it's uh it's like my moonwalk yeah i I kind of have to keep doing it yeah it's pretty fantastic it's fun so do you have a favorite musician today or or one particular that Uh, you like back then houdini must have really been an inspiration oh magician like houdini i didn't mean musician i was gonna say iggy pop maybe but um i may have morrison i met magician um yeah yeah yeah. yeah, no um i think um M- m- magician. I mean, there were there were a lot of them, but I mean, Copperfield was the first guy I saw yeah, do they, like yes. real big magic yeah. tricks, right? Yeah. But um, no, I mean, there's a there's a lot of uh, people. They're mostly dead now. If I named them, you wouldn't. Nobody would know who they were. But they're all dead. Uh-huh. But uh, there are a lot of talented. 
talented folk. Maybe they're channeling through you or something. Maybe. A little bit. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's kind of funny because I loved horror movies when I was little. When Resident Evil came out, the movie, I just oh, yeah. thought that was the best movie Yeah, I used ever to play made. that video game. Yeah, uh, my son did. So, yeah, yeah, and the movie came out, and he couldn't believe how much I loved the movie. I just thought the movie was fantastic. But. Yeah, I like. Well, they've made like twenty of them now. I've lost track. I lo- I got I got out of the Resident Evil. Uh-huh. Uh, I quit following it just because they made too many of them. Kind of like X Men. Well, yeah, like I yeah. I saw like the first second one, and then I was just like, it's oh, like forget get it. over it. Yeah, and it doesn't become fresh. Like the anymore. Saw Saw movies. They did the same thing. They yeah. took they dragged that on way too long. <laughs> Paranormal Activity. They're doing it with that too. Yeah. Why? Like, why is I don't that? Know. Do you have any? I don't know. You know, I think people, I think it's laziness. Could be. I think it's laziness. Yeah. Uh, you know, and. Uh, merchandising yeah. or something? Maybe, I suppose. Probably, yeah, the merchandising. I mean, I get it to a degree. You make one and then you want to keep it going until it runs out of gas, but you right. might be just uh, sort of, you know, slowly bleeding out what could have stayed a great. Like, like okay, so like Blair Witch Project, right? Whoa, that first yes. one, still a terrible movie, but the marketing of it was genius. That was like the first reality horror movie, mm-hmm. you know, before that was years before anything like Paranormal Activity was right. like a reality horror movie. Just for example, Paranormal Activity, there's been others, but that's probably the next most commercial. Right. It's probably even more commercially successful than Blair Witch, but Blair Witch was a big deal. Mm-hmm. Then they made like the second one, and that was terrible. And that's just a perfect example. Like, just leave it alone. It should have mm-hmm. just stayed right there on the shelf, on the pedestal as you know something you know great they're like you know the egyptians made you know pyramids but there's only one great pyramid they didn't try to make another <laughs> wait, one wait they found one on the moon didn't you hear about that no they or probably on did. mars yeah. i don't know one of the other there's probably i think they're on both yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised yeah, but it's then, anunnaki you know. So, <laughs> and speaking of branding, you obviously, and we were talking about that with Lefty and Murray Sawchuck, how he's branded himself. Your your image that you wear so well is part of your branding. Yeah, it kind of became that way. And yeah, you, I used to try and dress differently when I did shows, <laughs> but, uh, but then it just didn't work. Uh-huh. It didn't work. And it was a buddy of mine that was just like, why don't you just look like this when you, you know, when you do magic shows? And I was like, well, I don't know. Yeah, so this is your everyday uh, wear. I just did it. Yeah, these are my clothes. I don't have costumes. I just have clothes. Oh, that's so cool. Well, I tried to Or maybe to I don't have clothes. Goth. I just have costumes. This is as close to goth I as I get. No, it looks black really good. My, black isn't my color, but speaking of which, uh, and you're being so creative Blair and Witch carrying sandwich. through the... <laughs> Blair Witch Sandwich. You have Java Coffee and yeah. it's Zombie Java. We're going to talk about that more in the second segment. Yeah, Because this is interesting, undead. and we love that you've brought this to Las Vegas. This is where you are manufacturing. Yeah, or? actually, as soon as we're done here, I have to ship out uh, a whole bunch of orders, which I'm sorry about. If I haven't gotten to your orders yet, they're coming. I've been on the road. <laughs> he was in Germany. He's in Germany, as some of you maybe know. And we're so glad that you got home safely. I was a little concerned. I knew you were flying in. I didn't know if you had to stop in Brussels or yeah, what was going on. Terrible it's people just, doing terrible things. Yeah, it is, and it's pretty scary over there. So are you going to be home for a while? Are you on tour here? What's going on? No, I'm only here for a few days. I go to L.A. tomorrow for two days. Okay. Then I'm back. Then I go to... Pick up the the big tour I'm with, The Illusionist, picked that up in Baltimore we on Monday. We want to talk about that, too, The Illus- Illusionist of Broadway. That yeah. is a huge tour. Yeah. How's that going? Are you just like... Non-stop. We've been, we've been doing it for three years. It's been slowly building. Uh-huh. And then now um, this is the second leg of our first North American run. Uh-huh. So uh, we're just on a break from that right now, which allowed me to go out and do more of my solo tour stuff, like the three shows I had in Germany. Right. And uh, then... Um, I bet you're yeah. a big hit in Germany, totally big hit. I mean, yeah. Big hit. yeah well, but. they're good. They're good people over there. Yeah. Those have been the Germans that are watching this, anyways. <laughs> uh, they're they're good people over there. We 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 have a good thing going. Uh-huh. We have a good connection, I think. Well, it sounds stuff. like well, you've got a lot of good things going on between that that and then this, which we do want to talk about. Yeah. Um, you can try smelling it. I, I'm going to. And are you going to do a little magic? I heard today. Yeah, on the I brought show something, something that we could try together. You and me. Okay. If you're down. I do my best. I don't know how. Uh, coordinated i am as you don't have to be coordinated you just got to hold something it's real easy okay well you got to pinch something actually I, <laughs> can i pinch these uh no i don't know what you're doing with those hands right now it's like a grope but <laughs> no that whatever. was a grope you're right i'll have yeah. to pinch when i come back yeah well, i gotta take a second give a Handfuls. shout out to my sponsor which is a red roof in across from the hard rock hotel yay on paradise pet friendly free wi-fi and continental breakfast for guests no resort fees no parking fees which we're all upset about here in Las Vegas. And when we come back with Dan, we're going to talk about, which I'm really interested, this zombie Java, because obviously I'm a coffee freak and so are you. Yep. And a little bit more about the illusionists of Broadway. I can hardly even say the word. It's got too many alliterations. Say it. Yeah, the, the illusionists illusionist. of Broadway. Okay, fine. You do it better than I do. Well, I probably had to say it more than you have. <laughs> yeah, I think you might. Because I have to go do stuff. Stay tuned, everybody. We'll be back. Don't go away. See you in a minute.